It's what fuels every barbershop and bar debate. Who's the best ever? It's impossible to name just one person the greatest NFL player in history. There's just too many positions and responsibilities to compare a guy that catches the ball to a defender that sacks the quarterback. Without further ado, here's the greatest player ever at every position in football. Quarterback. This was a huge debate until about three years ago. Tom Brady has put himself head and shoulders above everybody else, becoming the oldest Super Bowl MVP at 39 years old. Then he broke his own record, winning another Super Bowl at 41. Brady is the only person to ever become both the youngest Super Bowl MVP and the oldest Super Bowl MVP. Counted out and overlooked, Brady's sixth round selection has fueled his insane work ethic. Brady has more play off wins than 27 NFL teams. No moment cemented the legend of Tom Brady like Super Bowl 51. Atlanta Falcons fans, let me do you a favor. Go ahead and fast forward about 15 seconds. In the third quarter, the Falcons went up 28-3, firmly in the driver's seat of their first Super Bowl championship. But then, Brady captained the greatest comeback in the history of sports, playing nearly perfect to force overtime and then win the game. While Montana is the original goat, Brady has passed him in nearly every category. Peyton Manning, Brady's career nemesis, is his only other peer, but Manning's lack of postseason success keeps him from unseating Brady. Running back the best running back of all time can't be found at the top of the all-time rushing leaders list. Sorry, Emmett. He's also not the longest tenured starting running back, so no, not Walter Payton. The GOAT of running backs played only 10 seasons, but dominated the game like no other. Number 20 in Lions blue and silver, Barry Sanders, is the greatest back to ever live. In just a decade, Sanders shook his way to 15,000 yards and 99 touchdowns, meaning Sanders averaged averaged 100 yards a game in his career, 20 yards more than any other player. If Sanders didn't retire early, there isn't any doubt he'd hold every imaginable rushing record. Sanders made defenders look silly, bouncing in and out of tackles, cutting on a dime, and stopping and going on a whim. He was the complete package. This is one of the tighter races, but Barry Sanders' wow factor and pure dominance every Sunday puts him above Walter Payton and Emmett Smith. Fullback. In the 50s and 60s, most offenses employed at least two players in the backfield. The deepest player was referred to as a halfback, and the upback was referred to as a fullback. While there have been numerous traditional blocking machines that have come from that position, only one was a certified thoroughbred with the ball in his hands, and that is the Cleveland Browns legend, Jim Brown. Not only is Brown the greatest fullback ever, he's arguably the greatest football player to ever live. Brown simply couldn't be brought down. He was too fast, too strong, too agile, and had too much will to be stopped. He retired the all-time rushing leader and the only player to ever score 100 rushing touchdowns, something only eight others have done since. The league season was only 12 games long, adding to Brown's unprecedented achievements. Brown retired, averaging 5.2 yards per carry. This is more than any other player in history, and the only other 5 yards per carry player in history was Barry Sanders. A few Honorable mentions are Bronco Nagurski and Earl Campbell. Campbell was the Mack truck for the Houston Oilers, plowing over defenders. Nagurski the fullback for the legendary 1930s Bears, but others just pale in comparison to the talent and impact Brown had on the game. Wide receiver. Some of our goats are controversial. This, this is not one of those. Who would have thought that Mississippi Valley State was the home of the best ever, Jerry Rice. Drafted by the 49ers in 1985, Rice was overlooked because he lacked speed and size, and San Francisco was laughed at for taking him so highly in the draft. Immediately, Rice's route running and soft hands made him unstoppable. Rice got better and more clutch as games wore on, a testament to his finesse passion for fitness. A 20-year playing career is unheard of in the NFL, but Rice did everything right, on and off the field, to help push himself past others. Rice owns three unbreakable NFL records, 207 touchdowns, 1,549 catches, and 22,895 receiving yards. What's even scarier is nobody is even close. Even with the offensive onslaught we're seeing in the NFL today, 
Rice is the greatest skill player to ever live. While Randy Moss was far more athletic and must-see TV every time he touched the gridiron, numbers don't lie. And for that reason, it's hard to imagine any receiver ever unseating Jerry Rice. Tight End Some of the OG tight ends that transformed the position from a sixth blocker into a dynamic offensive weapon are definitely worth mentioning. Shannon Sharp was the best receiving threat on the powerhouse Broncos in the 90s and incredible off of play action. Tony Gonzalez is near the top of all receiving records, regardless of position, posting insane numbers no matter who the quarterback was. But the greatest tight end of all time could block just as well as he could run down the seam and leap over defenders for the catch. That player is longtime Patriot Rob Gronkowski. Gronk is the most complete tight end ever. At 6'6", 250 pounds, he had unreal speed and leaping ability. He engineered the Patriots running game and was option number one for fellow greatest of all time, Tom Brady. He easily made contested touchdown catches, but could also catch a six-yard crosser and take it the distance. Gronk is far and away the single-season tight end touchdown leader with 17, and the Gronk spike is a celebration that will live on forever in NFL lore. Offensive Line Often the most underrated position in the sport, offensive line is critical to an NFL team's success. Because of that reason, it's also one of the most debatable positions for who is the greatest to ever do it. But if we're talking accolades, all pro selections are a great place to start. Our GOAT offensive lineman, well, he has 11 all pro selections. Did we forget to mention that they were in a row? For over a decade straight, Anthony Munoz was the elite of the elite. Munoz neutralized every type of opponent he faced, from the quickest or the strongest to the nastiest. The USC product towered at 6'6", 280 pounds, but was as nimble and light on his feet as a runner or a receiver. This made him a mobile brick wall, and he spearheaded the offensive attack for the best Bengals team in the 80s. The icky shuffle doesn't happen without Munoz or the O-line. Munoz is the single greatest pass protector of all time, allowing Bengals QBs to sleep in peace at night. While it's a tight race between Munoz and Larry Allen, the hulking guard for the 90s Cowboys, Munoz gets the edge over Allen because of the importance of his position compared to Larry's, as well as four more All-Pro selections. Defensive Line Mean Joe Green got his namesake by being the nastiest, most competitive player in the NFL. He anchored the greatest defense of all time, destroying offensive hopes and dreams in the process. Mean Joe not only had the size advantage, but he was more athletic than any other player on the field. Sacks weren't a recorded statistic during Joe Green's career, but ask anybody that was involved in pro football in the 70s, and they'll tell you Green would be the all-time defensive tackle sack leader. Unblockable doesn't even begin to describe Green's game. He blasted through blockers and dragged down the ball carriers by any means necessary. Green could sling around professional athletes like ragdolls, redirect to the ball, and toss another person to the ground at an uncomfortably easy rate. Others like Bob Lilly and Alan Page made the NFL's century teams, and Page even won the MVP award as a defensive lineman. But neither of these guys dominated opponents like mean Joe Green. Edge Rusher Fun fact, the greatest edge player was actually an alter ego. Just ask Lawrence Taylor, the Giants Hall of Fame pass rusher. Taylor convinced himself that LT came out of him on the gridiron. And who are we to disagree? LT was a freak that offenses had to game plan for each week, and they would often decide to avoid running any play to his side of the field. His 140 sacks don't even paint the picture. LT was a wild boar that ravaged terrified offenses for years, winning two Super Bowls and an MVP award in the process. LT single-handedly changed the face of defensive football, moving to more hybrid rushers that stood up as opposed to put their hands in the ground. This gave LT the flexibility to attack anyone from anywhere and made him impossible to prepare for. Some other legendary edge rushers to acknowledge are Deacon Jones and Reggie White. Most historians consider Jones the unofficial all-time sack leader, while legendary Packer Reggie White was adored the Minister of Pain. And anyone who played against him could attest to that. However, neither of these guys put fear in the hearts of men like good old LT. Linebacker 
When you think of the word linebacker, that purple and black 52 stains the picture in your head. Ray Lewis was the heart and soul of the Ravens, bringing the intensity that gravitates us to the game of football. A lot of great backers have a nose for the ball. Ray Lewis had a personal connection to it. Ray Lewis's 2,000 plus tackles is the most ever. He punished ball carriers for deciding to face him. Ray Ray just got better and better every season. Early in his career, he capped into one of the greatest defenses ever. He was an ultimate testimony of football intelligence and passion joining together. Lewis united 11 men to play with one heartbeat. Speed, size, instincts, intensity, and leadership all rolled into one player. He wasn't just rare. Ray Lewis is a one of one. But you can't talk linebackers without mentioning Dick Butkus, the hard-hitting force in the middle of the field for the Bears, or Jack Lambert and his impact with the steel curtain. These guys laid out out the foundation for backers for years to come, and Ray Lewis embodied everything these guys had, and more. Cornerback Deion Sanders is your favorite player's favorite player. Flashy, gaudy, cocky, and always in the limelight. All the qualities that made him great and earned him the nickname, Primetime. Sanders would have probably been the GOAT at any position he wanted to play. I mean, the guy ran a hand-timed 4.2 in the Combine and immediately left right after. He was selected first-team All-Pro for nine consecutive seasons. His longevity is regularly overlooked. He played for five different teams over 17 seasons and won two Super Bowls. Sanders is one of two players to score a touchdown six different ways. Dion's versatility and pure brass shutdown ability is what made him beloved throughout his career. He talked the talk and walked the walk. You can't talk about great corners though without also mentioning Darrell Revis and Rod Woodson. Revis became such a lockdown man corner that he had a deserted island affectionately named after him. On the other side of the spectrum, Rod Woodson was the best playmaking corner ever. He could shut you down in man coverage, bait and intercept the QB in zone coverages, and was an absolutely vicious tackler. But Dion transcended the cornerback position and showed young athletes that intercepting touchdowns was just as cool as scoring them. And for that, Prime is without question the greatest cornerback of all time. Safety. You break the huddle and it's different. You don't scan like normal. You're looking for number 20. This was Tom Brady when he asked about prepping for the Ravens. Ed Reed impacted the game more than any player ever. If a great corner was on the field, you could decide to go opposite of him, not with Reed. He could start in the center of the field and then make a play on the ball outside of the hashes. It wasn't just that he was so physically gifted. It was his mind that truly set him apart from the rest. He often knew what was going to happen before it happened. Baiting quarterbacks and making them pay for throwing the ball anywhere near him. He not only picked off balls, he scored them, posting the two longest interception touchdowns in history, while also being the all-time leader in career interception yards. Reed combined pure athleticism and ball-hawking abilities the game may never see again. Ronnie Lott had game rules changed because of the way he played, a violent and passionate safety whose love for the game ran so deep that he had his pinky amputated so he could return to a game. Similarly, Troy Palamalu was the most feared safety in football at one point. He played the game with a silent intensity, and if you watched the Steelers play in the 2000s, you better believe you would see 43 in his flowing hair flying around the field making plays. However, Ed Reed was playing chess while everyone else was playing checkers, putting him in a league of his own. So, there you have it, the greatest player at every position in NFL history. Do you think any of these players will be dethroned in the coming years? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications. As always, thanks for watching Nonstop Sports.